We have reached the best of the best on our Hawkeye Top 70 countdown, jumping right into our most elite Iowa athletes. At number five is Cal Jones. Cal played for the Hawkeye football team from 1953 to 1955 under coach Forrest Evashevsky. And you can make the case that Cal Jones set the standard for the Hawkeyes as a lineman producing factory. He was a member of the all Big Ten first team all three years of school. He was a consensus All-American in 1954 and 55, one of only two Hawkeyes who have ever earned that distinction twice in their careers. During his junior season, Cal became the first college football player and the first African-American ever to appear on the cover of Sports Illustrated. That season, he was named to 15 different All-America teams. In 1955, as team captain, Jones became the first African-American and the Hawkeyes' first winner of the Outland Trophy, given to the nation's best interior lineman, an award won by three more Hawkeyes since Cal Jones, and he finished his career 10th in Heisman Trophy votes. Cal was drafted by the Detroit Lions in 1956, but he refused to play in the NFL because of their pay discrimination between black and white players. So instead, he went to play for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers of the Canadian Football League. After his first season in Canada, Cal Jones was traveling en route to see the Hawkeyes play in their first Rose Bowl, but the plane he was traveling on crashed in the Cascade Mountains, killing all 62 people aboard. After their Rose Bowl win, the Hawkeyes sent the game ball to Cal's mother in Ohio. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1980, and his number 62 and Niall Kinnick's 24 are the only numbers ever retired by the Hawkeye football team. Cal Jones, number five in our Hawkeye Top 70.